In this video, I got a Silver Age unboxing for you guys, and I'm gonna talk about a series that I feel like is super underrated. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. And in this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Yes, that is right, an unboxing video. I've, I've never done one of these before. I feel like a real YouTuber now. So this is very, very exciting. And inside is obviously a comic book and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. And, and when I show you, I'm gonna talk about this series that I feel like is super, super undervalued. And But before I can get into my unboxing, if you guys could drop me a like or a comment or subscribe if you're enjoying my content, love interacting with you guys. Let's keep the conversation going. All right, with that being said, here it is. I got this package in the mail. Uh, very, very excited to open it up with you guys right now. Uh, you know, for me, I'm, I'm someone that like sometimes I get things off of eBay, but a lot of times, uh, you know, I get my comics and books like, you know, I at least try to go to LCSs. Uh, but I came across this uh Comic book content creator and eBay seller. His name is Comic Dylan. He does these things called Dylan's auctions, and they're really, really cool. And uh, you know, I connected him with on Instagram, and you know, I, I stumbled across his store as a result of it. And it basically, he does this really interesting model where he basically puts like weekly auctions that always end on Sunday, but he starts them like you know, I think on Wednesday is what he does. So they're very, very short auctions, and they're always random. Like it's always a new series of things, and it's really cool because for that reason, since the auction window is so short sometimes you can like really snipe like a really really good deal and and it's it, like this is one that like you know I, I basically I check it like every week now because I'm just curious to see like oh, okay like what you know what stuff can I slide in there and finally one book that came around uh, was was one that I had always really really wanted so uh, you know I was able to you know watch it put in the bid I won the bid uh, and I'm very very excited to open this with you guys so here it goes. All right, so you know I only have one take with this, right? Cause this is an unboxing. Can't have too much dead air here. Here we go. Here, nicely packed, nice and tight, very secure. I got my trusty knife that I have here. I'm gonna pull this open. Ooh. Let's just do this. Let's do this right. Let's not. Kill, kill the uh, it's nicely, nicely packaged. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be the the one, the reason why you know the, the comic book gets damaged here. All right, so got the painter's tape, which I know you know a lot of people love the painter's tape, and uh, it is actually really nice when you open it because when you use the painter's tape, it comes off really, really easy. And I can't, can't, you know, I, I got to do the thing where I don't show you guys yet. I got to hold, hold, hold it back to you. Ooh, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is nice. This is really great. All right, cool. So this is my unboxing uh, and I'm gonna show you guys what I got here, a beautiful Tales to Astonish number 57. Look at the colors on that thing. This thing looks really amazing. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is actually um, kind of a cool little Marvel history. This is the first time that we ever saw Spider-Man outside of his own comic book run. This is like his crossover into the Tales to Astonish where he had a little series with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. And th what I think is really cool about this is, you know, this is one that, you know, I, I haven't gotten this necessarily on spec. This is just one that I've always wanted to own because I thought that the cover was so dynamic and cool. And I just, I love the white contrasted with the red and blue, like, cause that, they, they're, they're, their outfits kind of match. And so this is one that I always really wanted. Um, and I think it's really cool because like, I feel like this is one of the first things that Marvel did, what, which is what separated them and what makes the MCU so great is that they, you know, they had these crossovers of their superheroes in other titles. And so that, that's something that makes this really special. And additionally, I think the Tales to Astonish series is really, really awesome um, in general. And there's a lot of like underrated books that exist within that series. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so happy I have this. This is so awesome. I got this, you know, I won the auction. This is cool. It's like, I, I only got this order this like a week ago. So it's, 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 it came really, really fast. Um, again, you guys should check out Dylan's auctions. It's really, really awesome what he does, the style of auctions that he does. You, you see stuff every week, go check it out. I'll put links in the description if you want to check it out. It's definitely somebody that like I've been following. And uh, this is cool because this is like the first one that I've actually won. Like I've put bids on on other ones, but I didn't end up winning the bid. Uh, so this one I won and yeah, I'm super excited about that. Look at that thing right there. It's so, it's so awesome. All right, well, this is definitely gonna go on the wall behind me. But uh, really quickly, you know, 
I just wanted to, you know, kind of kind of give you guys a little bit more, you know, of what I think about Tales to Astonish and why I think it's so awesome is that, you know, for a long time, I felt like other series like Strange Tales and Tales of Suspense were really, really popular and had picked up a lot of steam because of the characters that were in that, right? Like with uh, Strange Tales, you have like Doctor Strange, you have the Human Torch, uh, who else appears in Strange Tales? Or, or Tales in Suspense, you have Iron Man and Captain America. So you have these characters that, you know, a lot of those books have had increased in value because those characters obviously had movies in the MCU and things like that. So their their movies have uh, elevated the level of the books. Whereas in Tales to Astonish, you had Ant-Man and the Wasp and you had Incredible Hulk and then you had Submariner. And so what I think is really cool about this is that we still have Ant-Man and the Wasp on the table, generally speaking, like with the coming MCU films. Incredible Hulk, granted, like he did have his movie, but you know, there's all those licensing issues, but it feels like they're still gonna use him a lot. And, and we also think that Submariner is coming, right? To some degree. So I feel like Tales to Astonish is sort of like un tapped potential. There's a lot of things that might emerge from this series. And I, and I just wanted to show you guys a couple of books that I've been eyeing because I think these things are really cool. Um, so I pulled it up here. Tales to Astonish, of course, this is the series that, uh, you know, has things like uh, first appearance of Groot, first appearance of Ant-Man, first appearance of the Wasp and things like that. But look at some of these covers, man. Like here's like a B-tier villain. This is Egghead. He, you know, he's a super you know, like sciencey guy that is one of Ant-Man's, uh, you know, main villains. And I think that like, you know, who kn who knows like with some of these characters, that if we might see, if they continue to do Scott Lang and Hank Pym storylines, we could see some of these things like Porcupine. I know it's like a ridiculous character, but like, these are characters that were like vintage, you know, to the silver age. And so I think that's really interesting to look at. Here's the first appearance of when he becomes Giant Man. I think we're going to see a, a Scott Lang doing a lot more Giant Man stuff. Uh, this is one where it's Giant Man versus Incredible Hulk. They haven't done that yet. I can imagine us seeing a scene where Scott Lang has to fight the Hulk. I mean, that would be really cool fan service to, to have. Here you have uh, these books heated up. Everyone knows about this, but these were slept on for so long. First cameo of the leader, first full appearance of the leader, you know, things like that. This is one that's interesting. This is when Submariner started to get into the series. This is the first appearance of Neptune, you know, kind of like a godlike character like Odin. Um, here you have like classic covers like Hulk fighting Hercules. You got first abomination, second abomination. And here's another one here. This one is something that I think is really special to talk about because everybody is chasing these Silver Surfer books. And this is one that I feel like is still super, super affordable, generally speaking. This is uh, Tales to Astonish number 93. And just look at this cover. This is like classic Silver Surfer with Incredible Hulk, beautiful cover, beautiful contrast, the colors pop. I think this is something that's super awesome. And, and generally speaking, like I think that the Tales to Astonish series is like it, it just an amazing, like sort of untapped uh, potential because like who knows what stories or what characters they're going to pull from from that series going into the MCU. And, you know, because we know that these characters are going to play a role versus like Tales of Suspense, like, you know, we, we know that we, we got Iron Man stories, we got Captain America stories. Uh, granted, I'm sure they'll come back, but like, I feel like those ones aren't going to be as hot, you know, in the next few years compared to Tales to the Astonish. So anyways, that is all I got for this video. Again, I picked up Tales to Astonish 57. This is even more beautiful than I thought. Like, you know, th this is, this was graded very, very conservatively. Like this was called a three. Like when I look at this, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I don't know how to grade at all, but like, this looks like a, a VG at least to me. So I'm super excited to get this. Um, you know, if you guys want to see where I got it, I got it from Dylan's Auctions. I'll definitely put a link in the description. Go check out his store. Go check out his, his uh, YouTube. Actually, he's a comic book content creator. So, you know, he does a lot of stuff for the community, both as a seller and a content creator. Uh, I'll put a link to his stuff. He's a good dude. I've talked to him a lot on Instagram. And, and I think he's got a really just like interesting like eBay model that he uses. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Go check out some Tales to Astonish books. Drop me a like, comment, or subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any of these books. Uh, what do you think about this series? And I will see you in the next video. You thought it was the end of the video? I was just kidding. I have bonus content for you because I forgot to talk about something that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, in my comic book call the other day, I actually had another one, but I saved this book for my unboxing because I wanted to show these two together. I actually found a Tales to Astonish number 50. And what is the significance of this? Well, this is the first appearance of the human top 
who later becomes Whirlwind. And if you guys saw my uh, you know, uh, sleeper spec books, I talked about the character of Whirlwind. Granted, I still think that that Avengers book, number Avengers 46, is gonna be the winner book if we ever see Whirlwind in the MCU. But uh, this is his first appearance as far as like, you know, when he was first introduced into the Marvel world, uh, but he was known as the human top then. So anyways, I found this as a super good deal. I wanted to show you guys these books side by side, uh, you know, and I, you know, it's funny. It's like when I, when you do these unboxings, I had to record it live. So I totally forgot to pull the book out. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like I had to hit you with the bonus content. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Look at that. These are going on the wall. Look at, I just think that these look so, so good. I love how Tales to Astonish looks. So awesome. Anyways, that was it. That was my bonus content. Uh, hope you guys st stuck around for the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop me a like, comment, or subscribe. Do one of the, those things. Support the channel, and I will see you in the next video.